Hello, welcome back to the third part in this tutorial series in creating a um, so uh, shopping cart. So if we go to PHP my admin and log in, usually it's just root and then blank password unless you're on a Linux or a Windows server and not a local host, in which case you will be, or even a Mac server, in which case you will be using your normal login. Create a database, I'm going to call this tutorials. Remember to remember what you save all these as because you'll need to define them all later. So go for it and find tutorials. You can name these whatever you want, by the way, it doesn't matter. Applicate. Oh, that's one, one I did ages ago, I can delete that. Let's go back. And delete. Right, okay. Create a new table and I'll call this products. And we need four fields, I think. Let's see, id underscore product. That'll be integer with 11. It will be auto increment and primary key. Um, the next one we need it will be name. Voucher of 100. That's not null. Right, all these are not null, by the way, um, and that should be the default, so just leave them as it is. Um, if you. Uh, well, that's annoying. Right, I'll, I'll just quickly go and do that, and then I'll catch up again in a second. Right, sorry about that. Um, I'm back to where I was, and. Just a description with a bar chart of 200 and price with decimal, and that is 6, 2. Um, what that means is it can basically just move here, it can be up to like 1, 2, 3, one, two, three 4, 5, point one, two. So it can go, it has up to six numbers in the front, so that is up to 999,000, and then it can go up to 99 here. So this will obviously be used for money, most often anyway. Um, so yeah, 999,000 and up to 99 cents, or pence, or wherever, wherever you live, the equivalent. And basically, you could make this bigger, the front number, to like, um, like 12 or something. In which case, it would be up, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In which case, it will be, uh, thousand. Thousand, it'll be about a billion, and obviously nothing will cost a billion. So, for obvious reasons, you're not likely to be selling something for a billion dollars. So we'll just keep this up to one, um, up to six. It is unlikely that you're going to sell something in hundreds of thousands of dollars, but for the small likelihood, likelihood that you do, um, there it is. Now, um, you may notice that this is given us an SQL query, so if you like, you can pause the video here and copy this over, if you don't like the layout of, of typing all out into the, like how I did a second ago, or if you don't have uh, PHP My Admin, you can pause the video now, copy this code over, and run it as a PHP script, uh, remember to put the MySQL query and select and stuff into it, and also the connect, but, um, right, now you've done that, go over and check this, and you've got id products, auto increment, that's correct, should be primary key if I check, right, it's underlined, which means it's primary key, um, name, description, and price, those, 100, 200, 6, 2. Alright, that's all fine. So, now that that's the end of this tutorial, actually, no, I've got some information which I need to add into it. 
So, as always, go on to the insert area, and I'll call this one um, Retouch Space Tutorial Series A Series of Downloadable And I'll put this as 49.99 um, I'll add another one of these so I'll just pause it for a minute while I add some data right okay and um, as you may have noticed I've just quickly clicked over to here and I've added six different um, items I've got tutorial series and I've got a description and a price a uh, biography by me and a description and a price um, a biography of John Jonathan and description and a price some information about a team of um, freelancing which me and Jonathan are involved with a description of it and a price something to do with Google because I ran out of ideas of products description and price and a party a children's party cakes book called space cakes and we have a description and a price so as I've you can see I've made six different copies or six different in information inserts put them in there at the moment this won't make any difference as we've not got any PHP code to grab it from the database but we'll be doing that later in the next tutorial so um, that's the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoy watching this um, and just so you know none of these actually exist apart from the smart dev team which I am a freelancer for and so yeah all the ones which are highlighted don't actually exist at the moment this one may exist soon the tutorial series but for now they don't exist so no point trying to google it if you are sad enough to try it um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next tutorial which will be on if I just have a quick look getting the data from the database and displaying it to the page so I hope you enjoyed watching this actually no it's just extracting data from the database sorry I um, hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial um, and I'll see you soon bye